seems so proud of him. The one thing though with Niall, mm -hmm. he makes me very uncomfortable. Why? Because like he he can read lips too. So when I'm talking to him and stuff, he's going. And I'm like, don't look at me like that. It'll make you crazy. So he can look across the room and he's like, Yes, and he's like you just piercing said what? and like doing that. And I'm just like, but he's not he, at first I was like, is he coming on to me? Like, what is he doing? I'm very uncomfortable. But then that's just how his face is made. So he's just like, I'm reading your lips, Tyler. What are you saying? <laughs> I could tell that she wasn't comfortable at first, and I was just making sure she was OK. And I enjoy reading lips. I feel like, you know, that eye contact really establishes a rapport, a relationship. And I was trying to give her a fair chance to that person and also to the interpreter, just looking back and forth. But with Tyra, She's one of a person who's probably the easiest person to read her lips just because she knows so many different languages and she understood everything I was trying to say. Her lip reading, I mean, the way that she, she articulates, I could understand everything that she was saying. Now, what's the best advice you got from Tyra all season? She told me one week, you know, don't, don't take no as an answer. And if you take no, there's always another alternative. And I think that was great advice for me as a deaf person. And of course, I have a lot of, you know, barriers and no's and obstacles, but I do not look at that as a shut door. I try to open it.